Good morning, boys and girls, and thank you so much for joining me at chapel today. I hope you've been enjoying this unique experience that we've had, uh, learning from home for the past little bit. I know me personally, I miss you guys, and I've been talking to my friend Steve the Box, and he misses everybody too. Well, I don't know about you, but we've been feeling rather cooped up lately. Steve is actually behind bars right now. We feel like we're stuck where we are, and there's just no way to get free. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been feeling the same way too, right? You've been stuck in your own house for days on end, and that can be super frustrating. It can feel like you're in your very own little prison. And when we're in situations like these, it can be super hard to stay positive and stay focused on God. I know Steve is taking this really hard. Steve, how are you feeling about all this? He's given me the silent treatment. That's not good. Well, one thing I know that works for me when I'm in confusion or in a time of stress is I can go to God's Word and see what He has to say to me about all of this. And when I get into His Word, I actually read that we're not the first persons to feel locked down and out of control. In fact, in the book of Acts, there's a, a man named Paul who was a missionary and his friend Silas who was going with him uh, who were dealing with a similar situation. Uh, they got locked down too in a real prison. And I think they know what it feels like to be out of control because they were thrown in prison and they didn't even do anything wrong. So let's read, let's read about Paul and Silas here. This is in Acts 16. And when they, the crowd, had inflicted many blows upon them, so after the crowd had beaten Paul and Silas, uh, they threw them into prison, ordering the jailer to keep them safely. Having received this order, he put them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. So Paul and Silas had been beaten and whipped and mocked and thrown in jail, and all they were trying to do was go around and travel and tell everyone about Jesus. Well, I know if it were me, I would be angry or maybe even a little sad or definitely at least a little complaining, right? So I'll bet we're going to read that that's how they responded too. Let's, let's read this together. How did they respond? About midnight. Now, they're in jail, remember. About midnight... Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. What? Instead of whining and complaining about this incredibly horrible situation that they've been put into, they sang praises to God, and they gave thanks for all of the blessings that they had in their life. And I'll tell you what, if you go and read the rest of this story in Acts, you'll hear that as Paul and, and Silas were singing with joy and the prisoners heard them, the prisoners wanted to experience that joy too. They wanted to be Christians because of the joy that Paul and Silas had. Now, Paul and Silas help us to understand that we can still choose the joy that God has given us even when we're in tough situations. And we have lots of tough situations. Maybe for you that's um, sitting down at the dinner table and realizing that you don't like the food that's out on the table. Or maybe that situation is being put in a group project and you find out that your best friend was assigned to another group. Or maybe uh, it's just like this right now, um, being stuck in your house and finding out that we're going to be locked in for the next few weeks. That's a tough situation and it won't be easy. In fact, there are going to be days where you feel crummy. And there's going to be days where you feel bored. And I'll bet that you're going to get it more than a little annoyed with your brother or sister or parents. But choosing joy means seeing all of that. Seeing all of the, the crummy things going on and saying, you know what? No, I'm not going to let it bother me. Because I have a God who chose love and who chose me and who chose to send his son Jesus to die. Jesus, who instead of complaining, chose to love you and me and to die on the cross so that we could have the hope of eternal life with him. And that is news worth having joy over, and that is news worth celebrating. So would you guys please uh, pray with me? We're going to do a repeat after Mr. Andrew prayer, so you can pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for choosing love even in difficult situations. Help me to choose joy no matter what I face. Help keep us safe until we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
All right, thank you so much for joining me today. We're actually going to sing a song together. Mr. Josh is going to lead us in a song. And remember, we read about Paul and Silas and how their singing brought joy to other people. And other people wanted to be Christians because of the joy that they had. So we're going to sing this next song super joyfully. So maybe your neighbors will even hear and they'll be wondering, why are my neighbors so happy and joyful with everything going on? I got to know more about this. And then you'll have the opportunity to tell them all about Jesus. And that'll be such an exciting thing. So let's sing together. Let's sing nice and loud with Mr. Josh. Hey, welcome boys and girls from Trinity. We are so glad that you are joining us today. Thank you, Andrew, for that amazing word and that amazing, encouraging message that regardless of if we're stuck in our homes, like Paul and Silas, we're stuck in a jail, we have no reason to not praise God. We can praise Jesus every single day, right, Charlotte? Mm -hmm. And that's a pretty cool thing. So welcome into our home is you are welcoming us into your home. We're going to sing a song. This is a song that we sang a few months ago. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. So I encourage you and welcome you to sing with us. We're going to rejoice and praise Jesus today because every day is a day that Jesus has made it and we can rejoice and be glad in it. So let's sing today. Here we go. So here we go. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I Hey Trinity, glad we could gather together for chapel. Raise the praise. <laughs> 